This video is going to be a short walkthrough of some example tasks which will help you to prepare for your music theory exam and to familiarise yourself with the notation software which is used within it. So the first example task at grade 3 is to write an ascending scale or arpeggio which uses accidentals and then to try this descending and using a key signature instead of accidentals. So first if we did want to add a key signature we'd go up into this measure tab at the top here if you click there and then go to this key signature button. Um, when you select different key signatures you'll see them appear into the score. I'll just go back to no key signature for the moment. Now, if we wanted to add some notes into the score, we go over to the Note tab and click on the note value that we want to enter. So if we click on eighth notes, quarter notes, half notes, etc. Let's go for quarter notes for the moment. And then if you hover over the score, you'll see the different pitches appear. And then you can click the notes in like that. So I'll just go ahead and fill those out. Now if you want to remove this extra bar at the end, you can go up to the measure tab and click the minus button just here and you'll see that bar remove. Likewise, if you want to remove any individual notes, you can click on them and then go up to this uh, cross button up here. If you click that, you'll see it remove and convert into a rest of the same value. Now if you want to add any accidentals, again you click on the note that you want to Add the accidental to so let's click on this one and then if we go up to the note tab you can see the different accidentals here if we add a flat and then if you keep on clicking through it will cycle through options until there's no accidental there The second example task at grade three is to write two consecutive chords using whole notes and to make sure that all of the notes are stacked on top of each other whilst doing this. So to start off, we'll go into the note tab and select the note value that we want. So we want a whole notes here, so we click on those and then we can add them by clicking into the score like that. Then we can also add some into the following bar. again by clicking them in. And if we want to remove an extra bar here, then we can go up to the measure tab and click the minus button again. And you'll see that remove. Um, likewise, if you want to remove any individual notes, you can click on the note that you want to remove and go up to the cross button just up here. That will remove. And if you want to add accidentals to any, then you can go up to the note tab and click on accidentals that you want to add. So the third example task at grade three is to write a short phrase which includes slur, tenuto and staccato notation and then to also try adding an accent to one of those notes as well. So to first add the notes in, we'll make sure we're in the notes tab. We've selected the note value we want. So let's go for eighth notes here. We can add some in by clicking them in. And then for adding those articulations, we'll click on the note that we want to add the articulation to. So let's go for that one there. And then if we go to the articulation tab at the top here, we'll click on that. And if we wanted to add an accent, for example, we could click the accent button there, click it again, and the accent will go away. If we wanted to add a tenuto, same there. And same for the staccato dot. You'll see that appear in the score when you click it and go away when you click it again. If you want to add a slur, you can go to this button here. If you click on that, you'll see the slur line appear. Now you can drag the length of this out if you if you want to. I'll leave it there for now. And then if you want to remove it, you can click on it again and click the slur button and it will remove. The fourth example task at grade three involves adding pedal notation under a piano stave. So if we first want to click on the note under which we want the pedal notation, so we'll click on that half note there, and then we can go up to the dynamic tab up here and click the 
paddle button here. Once we've done that, we can, if we click and hold here, we can drag it out uh, to the length that we want. And then likewise, if we wanted to add some here, we could click on that button there, click the pedal button again, and then drag it to the uh, correct length again. So the fifth example task at grade three involves adding some drum notation. Now in the exam, you'll be presented with a drum stave, which you can get to work with straight away. But for the purpose of practicing here in advance, you'll need to add one. And you can do that by going up to this icon up here. If you select that and then go to manage instruments and then add an instrument. If we go down to percussion, you'll see the drum set option here, which we can add. Once we've done that, we can now get rid of that piano stove from before. So if we get rid of that and click done. So we've now got a drum uh, stave to work with. So if we wanted to start by adding some eighth note hi-hats, for example, make sure we're in the note tab at the top there and we've selected eighth notes. And if we hover over, you can click those in. And now if we wanted to add some uh, bass drum and snare notes, we'd want to go up to this button here and select voice two. So that will now give us access to the lower voice within the drum stave. So if we wanted to add a quarter note, bass drum note there, click on it, make sure we've got quarter notes selected, and then we can hover over and click those notes in. We do the same for snare. And now if we wanted to, for example, change one of those hi-hats back to a crotchet or delete it, we'd have to go back up to voice one up here, which gives us access again to those hi-hats. And we can click on it, we can change it to a quarter note there. And if we wanted to as well, we can also delete that by clicking on the cross up here. The sixth example question at grade three uh, involves adding a dynamic mark into a bar of music followed by a crescendo or diminuendo. So if we want to do that, we'll first click on the note under which we want the dynamic marking to appear. So we'll click on that first note in the bar there. And then we can go to the dynamic tab up here at the top and select a dynamic marking. If we click on that, you'll see it appear underneath the note. Now, if we want to add a crescendo or diminuendo, we can do that here. And if we click on one of those, you'll see it appear and you can drag it out to change its length as well. So the last example task for grade three involves writing a short phrase with a pitched instrument using eighth notes eighth note rests, quarter notes, and quarter note rests. So to start off with that, we'll make sure that we're using the note tab at the top and that we've selected the value that we want to input. So let's go for eighth notes and add some of those in. And now if we wanted to convert any of those into rests, we can click on the one that we want to convert to a rest. So if we click here and then go up to the delete button and then do the same for the other note in that space. You'll see that convert to an eighth note rest because there was a eighth note before.